Hey gamers, this is Liz Davidson from Beyond Solitaire, and today I'm going to introduce to you the game. Are you ready to play? So this game was actually nominated for a Spiel des Jahres Award back in 2015, and um, its German title is The Game. Spiel, so long as you can't. Play as long as you can. So this is actually just a small, simple numbers card game. And it has this really strange, like, skull theme. Like, the art is really violent looking, which I kind of find hilarious. Um, so it's basically just cards with numbers on them with these, like, intimidating looking skulls. I actually read a rumor somewhere online that, um, that this game represents you being some sort of diabolical person who's decided to play a game with the lives of other people. And the cards that remain in your deck at the end are people that have died as a result of you not playing the game well enough. But that's just a rumor. So now that you are suitably intimidated by the game, I'm gonna show you how to play it. And it's actually really, really simple. Um, you basically have four discard piles for the game. Two of them start at one and go up to 99. And then two of them start at 100 and go down to two. The rest of these cards in the draw deck are literally just cards with the numbers two through 98 on them. And the goal is to get rid of as many cards as possible while laying them on two piles that can only go down and two piles that can only go up, with one exception that I'm going to show you. In a one-player game of the game, this can actually be played cooperatively by several players, but I really prefer it solo. Um, you draw eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. So this is really not a great starting hand, um, as you can see, because again, if we're starting at 100 and going down or starting at 1 and going up, it kind of sucks to get a whole bunch of middling numbers. But that is just the way that this game works. So let's put them in order and talk about what to do. So now that my cards are in order, I have to choose to play two of them before I can draw more cards off of this discard pile. So probably the best option for me is to play the 71 and the 70, so that way I'm not doing too much damage. The 27 is the one that's closest to its originating number, but I don't have two cards that are really close to play on this end. So I think that I will just do 71 and 70. That way if I get really stuck, I can offload a 69 as well and not do too much damage on that pile. So we'll draw two more. And it's still not looking great, but let's play two more and see what we can do. One thing you might have noticed is this game is pretty luck-based. The cards that you get early on especially really determine how well you're going to be able to do. You're just not going to win every time, but that's okay. It's, it's still fun to play for me, and I hope that if you give it a shot, you'll enjoy it as well. So let's see. What do I want to do? Okay, so let's put down the 69. And then... Hmm. I guess maybe this 18 on the ascending pile. We'll draw two more cards. Ooh, an 87, that's nice and high. And a 27, not delightful, but well, 28 to go with the 27. Okay. So then we'll play two more cards. I like this 87, but I'd really like to put something in the 90s on here. Also, it's too bad that I played this 18 so soon now because there's something in this game that I want to tell you about called the backwards rule. So normally these piles can only go up and these piles can only go down. However, if you have a card that's exactly 10 higher or lower than the stack you want to play on, you can actually play it and back up by 10. So if I had waited to play this 18, I could actually have done 27, 28, and then rewound to 18 using the backwards rule of 10. But that's not what I did, so we'll just continue for a minute here. I think what I am gonna do, however, is I'm gonna go ahead and put 27 and 28 here. Maybe I'll pull something good in the future. All right, so let's draw two more cards. Ooh, a 99, that's great. And a 33. Not the most exciting, but we'll do something with it. So this is awesome because I can actually just drop this 99 right here, and that's perfect. 
And then here, I think I may as well put the 32 down. We'll wait on the 33 in case we get a 22 coming off the draw pile. So let's draw back up to eight. A 23, all right, good. And then a 97, also pretty good. So what we're gonna do this time is actually, okay, let's play the 33. And then using that backwards roll, we can actually play a 23 and fire us all the way back down to 23 on this pile, which makes it a little bit more manageable. We'll draw two more cards and sort them. Okay, so we got a 20. Too bad it wasn't a little lower, right? And then a 61. Hmm, here's what I think I might do. I have to offload two cards. I'm gonna get a little clever here. Let's put down this 87 and then use the backwards rule to play the 97. So that way we can get rid of two without making too many huge changes on this pile. Unless we pull a 98, which would be irritating, but say la vie. Ooh, a 13, okay, that's great. And an 88, okay. So one thing that we can already do that is good is we definitely wanna play this 13. Using the backwards rule, we can pump this back down to 13, which gives us a little bit more room to put things down. Then let's think about what we want to do. I don't want to necessarily put the 88 here. We still got a lot of cards in the 90s that we haven't seen yet. And I don't want to increase these too quickly. This pile is already kind of a hot mess. So I may actually just put some cards on there. So let's just put the 61 here. And then draw two more cards. Okay. So, let's see, got a 79, a 19, 20. So as you can see, the, the game will basically just progress this way until I run out of cards or can't make a legal play. If you manage to play all of the cards under these stacks, you will actually win the game. I've only won like once or twice ever. Um, otherwise you are rated on how well you did based on how few cards you were unable to place throughout the game. I actually find this game weirdly addictive. I like to play it. I'll probably finish out this game and then play another one now that I have it out. Um, I wouldn't say it's like an amazing life shattering game, but it's just really fun. Um, there's actually also an app. So if you don't feel like doing this with actual physical cards, there is an app with an overly dramatic voiceover that is also pretty hilarious that I recommend that you try. So this is the game. Um, I don't know if it's the game of games, but I like the audacity of the title and of the artwork. And uh, I hope you give it a shot. Happy gaming.